Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Lioness Living and today we go going island shopping in Florida. Just pulled up to the swap shop. Go and see what they got. Y'all, let's go. I don't know, I craving dilly and cane and mango and wonder if I can find some plum. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the video. Tell me what's your favorite fruit that you really like that you could only find in the islands. Can Dilly, y'all. Island fruit's expensive. Dilly sweet though. It's cane sweet. This girl like open my door without me opening it. Just left the swap shop. I found some dilly and I found some cane. Sugar cane. I don't know. Have you ever had it? It's so sweet. Y'all know this with sugar, like white sugar that we eat that we put in tea and coffee. You know this where it come from, right? Well, let me see. Soft, sweet, just like I remember as a child. And y'all got the swap drop check, the Trini lady to the front. Funny story. So I asked her, how much for Dilly, right? And she said, what, you from Bahamas? I said, how you know? She said, because only Bahamians call it Dilly. Everyone else call it Sapa Dilly. So Bahamians, we identified, we, 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 you know, they know us. Wait up the show. If you ever had uh, cane before, drop in the comments. How you like? You like cane just like this? Or you like cane juice? Or you prefer the green cane or the purple cane? Let me know in the comments. So I just got to Palm Beach. Palm Beach Convention Center for the I Am Beyond Convention. I'm, I'm super excited to see the squad. Um, just to get a, a re recharge, man. Uh, these events, they're life changing because you get to you get to you get to raise your belief level and see what's really possible and how you can really accomplish all the goals you set out. So I'm about to head to registration. KK is here. We're going to register, get our credentials. We're doing it today early, so tomorrow we don't have to deal with the long lines. And you'll see the footage from this weekend. So watch the vlog all the way to the end. And. everywhere all over Palm Beach for this event. I mean, every restaurant is packed. <laughs> every bar is packed. Some really, this is a really nice city though. I gotta come spend some more time up here in Palm Beach for real. Like-minded individuals linking up, that's what it's really all about. You know, just blessed to be in environments like this, get access to certain information. Today's education day, super dope. Really getting to learn about all of the different trading strategies, learn about e-commerce. Listen, the, the academy, this education, digital skills is what you need. And if you ain't learning something that's gonna put money in your pocket, what you really doing, man? Just make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the video. Y'all already know. Let's go. is almost over we got one more uh session with our ceo christopher terry 
Uh, been a really incredible day today. You know, we got a lot of value from some of the, the, the top educators on the platform. Um, I actually picked up my mentor, Mr. Justin Owens, uh, Chairman 100 from the airport. You know, took him to check in his hotel. And, you know, in that time, I was able to really have lunch with uh, two female chairwomen who I really respect, uh, Dr. China Bentley and Dr. Jewel Tankard. And we just had a great, you know, lunch um, with some other people in the company and just having great conversations and, and seeing that we all have the same goals and we all face the same challenges as we build our business. It was just powerful, you know. Um, but today has been an incredible day so far. I'm excited for where we're at, excited for what's to come. I'm just happy and grateful. <laughs> Enjoying the event so far, Savannah? Yeah. You glad your mom brought you? Yeah. Who's your favorite person so far? Millie. Oh, snap. Uh, Millie Mills. Why? Well, she's the only girl. Like, What's that? Oh, she's the, the only, only girl? girl? Okay. She's the only one that talks about spirit. And, and second, she's the, she's the only one that, that got people the most hype. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes, Mo. Mo, what about you? How, what made you bring? Your daughter to the event. Today, bringing bring my daughter to the event is exposure. So she can understand why mommy has to be on calls or why mommy may not be able to take us somewhere right now because we got to be in the trenches right now so that we can have delayed gratification so that we can be able to have the lifestyle that we really want, right? Yeah. Love so it. now you'll see why mommy's trying to get there. Yeah. The stage, right? Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. And not just people you don't know, but people privately. In your own family, or church family, or business, or team. So we're on lunch break of day two of the event. So I had to come get a quick drink. Don't do what I do, guys. Okay, drink soda at the event. Always so dramatic in these vlogs. Oh my god, why should she be so dramatic at all? We're on day two. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Like, have you said that's what I'm supposed to say? Yeah, you're supposed to be excited. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. No, you're supposed to leave it when someone starts talking. Uh -huh. it's just put it on them. Y'all, I'm learning how to do vlogs. So y'all watch this. Y'all gonna look at this vlog and laugh and say, the vlogs used to suck. But <laughs> give me 18 months. Hello. Oh, there was one of my teammates, Anne. Anne, say hi to my vlog. Hi, bloggers. Yes, y'all. even a word. Yes, hi to YouTube. Y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. KK, tell them, give them the instructions, man. Cheek, this is my YouTube. Yeah, so, so is like so, a vlogger in progress. You have to be patient with her. The Sophia's get so awkward in front of the camera. Amazingly. <laughs> Yeah. I, when I when I do videos, I usually in like going to give some value, but she like you too excited now. She's like too boring. Which one is it? Okay, y'all. She is telling y'all about an event, so she should some have some excitement in her voice. Not y'all. Sorry, <laughs> it's too. I said no. You were having fun in there. You were enjoying the vlog. So you, I mean, you were enjoying the event. So she should be like y'all. Day two of the event. Listen, we're on a lunch okay. break. Can't wait to go back. Okay, take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's day two of the event, man. It's lit. You know, it's lunch break, having a little cocktail, having a little drink. I hope this is better for KK. You know, step two, right? This is this is phase two. Uh, this is take two. But no, the, the event is really amazing, man. Like, it's, we were just on lunch. It's just 1.30, and we haven't been jumping up and down. We heard from some phenomenal speakers. And the thing that really, you know, hit, hit home and touched me was Bryce Thompson. You know, being able to share that he applied for a job at Microsoft, didn't get it. Then he tried to get a scholarship from them. He didn't get it. Now, fast forward six years later, they're reaching out to him, asking him to speak to the same, same, you know, group of people um, on wealth and entrepreneurship. So, powerful, powerful stuff. It just showed me that it don't matter how you start. It's once you continue, it's how you finish, man. So, you know, that's what it's about. You know, tonight we have a women's event. Shout out to my girl Brittany Garrison. She's one of the speakers there tonight. Uh, Dr. Jewel Tankard. Uh, Melanie Greeno, man, like it's gonna be phenomenal, and and that's what's important. That's what's really powerful about these events. And if you're watching this and you've never been to an event like this, I encourage you to, you know, stay tuned to this vlog, to my my Instagram for the next one, because you want to be in an environment around people who are positive, who are going somewhere, who have the results you want. I can show you how to do it, man. So we're about to get to these drinks while we're on the break, 
and I'll give you all more footage. Like KK say, insert footage here. What's up, y'all? Day two is in the books. It's a long day, but incredible event. So much great speakers, so much good value, so much information. Got a chance to learn and hear from some powerful women, man. Goals. Jewel Tankard, Monica Tapia, China Bentley, Brittany Garrison. Like I say, goals. That's that's the goal. The goal is to be able to make an impact and inspire people, you know? But here's a cool story. Today, right, when um KK and I were pulling up to the parking garage of the convention center, I said to her in the car, I said, next year, I will be on the stage. And then when I went inside, one of my teammates, shout out to Mo and Savannah, we were talking about like manifestation. And I said to them, I said, next year, I'm going to be on the, on the stage. I said, C50 and above, I'm going to be speaking next next year. So fast forward towards the end of the day now, I'm sitting my, at my table. I see my, my mentor, Justin Owens, signal for me to come over. So I'm thinking he about to like ask me to go do something for him real quick. I walk over. He points me to this lady who's sitting down at the table next to him. So I just say hi, and she just says hi. She says, "Listen, we're having a, a um, upcoming women panel tomorrow, and they want me to be on it." And she just told me where to meet her at a certain time to get mic'd up. And I just said, "Okay," but I was like, "Whoa, hold on, what just happened?" So like tomorrow, I'm actually speaking at this event. It's like unreal because I just spoke it into existence this morning saying this was going to happen next year it was a goal for next year and it's happening less than 24 hours later it's the power of manifestation it's the power of like what you speak you create because it happens just like that and I didn't it fell into my lap but something else that I I, I was aware of I realized is that a lot of times you got to make sure in your process like you prepared because let's just say that that opportunity is presented like I'm speaking tomorrow, probably only be 30 seconds, but I ain't tripping. I'm going to be on the big stage, right? Goals. But you got to be prepared so that when the opportunity comes, you're ready. There's something I heard someone say one time and stuck with me. They say, you got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And that, that's real. So I'm about to turn in. For the night. Think about what I'm wearing tomorrow. <laughs> what I'm going to say. That's the crazy part too. It's a panel. So I don't know what they're going to ask me. But grateful for the opportunity though. Looking forward to it. Y'all going to see the footage. Look mama. I made it. <laughs> nah for real. A couple thousand people going to be in the building. Just blessed for the opportunity man. Just wanted to come in and share that with y'all. Let y'all know before the rest of the world. You want to see me on stage tomorrow. Y'all got to know it here first. But y'all ain't going to see. Y'all going to see it after I upload the video. After the weekend. So, tomorrow. Okay, day three. Loading. Number one, as a leader, you have to be able to deliver the promise. Everybody say promise. promise. And you also have to show people how to pay the price. Loving this so far, you can tell when you get around the right people with the right mindset, it takes you to another level. And right now, I'm floating on a whole nother level. That's what's up. Who are you, who are you excited to see this weekend? Speak. I think I'm, you know, always uh, David and Monique, for sure. And really, I love the message our CEO is bringing, you know, about educational first, you know, and then still building something special to pass on for a legacy. So I'm loving it, man. That's loving what's up. It. Yeah. Another two different types of people you got talkers and you got doers. You got fakers and you got shakers, right? Look, the people that are talking, they're okay with looking like they're successful. 
What's up? Leaving the chairman lunch now. Headed to go get mic'd up for this panel now. I don't know if I'm starting to feel a little bit of nerves now. I'm getting a little nervous, but let's see. Let's see what it do. Let's see what it do. Let's go, Sophia. <laughs> 2.30. I know. She's gonna do good. She is built for this. Built Stay tuned for the next one. Let's go, Planets and Stars. <laughs>